guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine if you're new here and welcome back to another video. So as you can see from the title below, today's gonna be like my go-to spring makeup look. We are finally in this joyous season, thank God, okay? Because the way the winter was draining my spirit, like the panoramic was already draining me, but this winter though, highly exhausting okay <laughs> i'm excited to be going on walks getting fresh air having the sunlight hit my skin yes i'm here for it but before we get into this look today's video is actually sponsored by coda lee which i'm so excited about you guys know how much i am a coda lee stan period and shout out to you guys for supporting me enough for me to get these types of opportunities but what makes me so excited about this sponsorship is that it's a giveaway so not only am i getting a chance to work with this brand that i love but i'm also getting a chance to give back to you guys but let me give you this tea on this giveaway real quick. So Caudalie has launched their new Vino Clean collection. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen me talk about it there as well. But just as a refresher, this new collection is super exciting because not only is it a great step forward for Caudalie's goal to be zero waste by 2022 because all of their packaging is recycled. Vino Clean is also vegan and the ingredients are made up of 97 to 100% natural origin ingredients, which we love. So not only is it an eco-friendly collection but it's also really great for our skin so it's definitely safe for those of us who have more sensitive skin my favorite part of this collection is hands down that when you use it you feel like your skin is so clean guys I've been using it for a couple weeks now and I'm thoroughly impressed because for a while I kind of felt like my skin was just at a really bad place I talked to you guys about it in a previous let's talk skin video and I wanted to make sure that since I finally got my skin to be a little bit more calm now we're making progress I I didn't want to go backwards. I wanted to continue using products that's only going to have my skin flourishing. And I went in with these two as well before I filmed this video just to prep my skin for the rest of our skincare. I personally mix these two because I like how they feel together. But you can always go ahead and just use, let's say, the Vino Clean Instant Foaming Cleanser on its own. It's just personal preference at the end of the day. I kind of like the feel of how my skin feels with a little mixture of the cleansing almond milk with it. So that's just what I went in beforehand. And I feel like my skin feels so soft and ready for the rest of my skincare. You guys are probably wondering, sis, what is the actual giveaway though? So I'm gonna get to that right now. You guys get a chance to get $200 worth of Caudalie products, which is so awesome. And you can either decide to get the whole entire Vino Clean collection and give that a try, or you can decide to, you know, get some other Caudalie staples as well. It's pretty much open to you guys. So to enter the giveaway, all the rules are gonna be on my Instagram post, which I will link in the description box below if you guys wanna go and enter. So you're gonna have to be following me, of course, and Coda Lee, and then leave me a comment in that post letting me know what your favorite Coda Lee product or a product from Coda Lee that you would love to try. And yeah, guys, it's pretty much that simple, so I cannot wait to read all of your lovely comments. But without further ado, I'm gonna zoom you guys in closer and let's get into this look. Okay, so first we're gonna start off with a little skincare prep because skincare literally equals perfect makeup. All right, so I'm gonna start off with the Vino Clean Moisturizing Toner from Coda Leaf. And I'm just gonna take that on a reusable cotton pad and just pretty much just pat it into my skin. So next is serum. We're gonna go in with my fave, the perfectly named Radiant Serum because I'm trying to get that glow. I'm trying to have that radiant skin, period, all right? So you guys already know how much I love this serum, so I'm not gonna go on a long tangent. I'm just gonna let you guys see how much of a glow it gives me, honestly, because it's perfection. I mean, look at that instant glow, guys. This serum, honestly, is just so essential and I would recommend to anybody who has hyperpigmentation. Then I'm gonna go in with this eye cream, which is also by Caudalie. This is their Premier Crew eye cream now this is more catered towards like anti-aging and all that stuff which i talked about on instagram i'm not sure if i mentioned it to you guys here but i'm trying to get into using more anti-aging products in my skincare routine you know as like a preventative measure it's so important to go in with a good eye cream and prep your under eye area before you go in with concealer and everything because you want that area to be nice and hydrated as well so now i'm gonna go in with some spf it's really important guys that you use spf no matter what even underneath your makeup i know some some people might think, oh, I don't need to put SPF on because I'm wearing makeup. No, sis. Put your SPF on at all times, okay? Protectyourskin.com. That's all I gotta say. So I'm gonna go in with this one by Mirad, and this is their Environmental Shield Essential C Day Moisture 
Broad Spectrum SPF 30. Ooh, that was a mouthful. So we're just gonna go in with some of that. So now for some moisturization, I'm gonna take this oil by Caudalie. And this is their Premier Crew, the Precious Oil. And I like to go in with an oil on top of my SPF just because I feel like the SPF really melts into my skin a lot better. And some of you guys might be thinking, sis, you're already looking so dewy. Why do you need an oil? Why do you need more product? Because I want more glow. That's all. <laughs> So now I'm gonna go ahead and quickly just prep my eyelid for eyeshadow off camera. You guys already know the drill, just some concealer and set it with a translucent powder just so that we can dive straight into our eyeshadow look. All right, so our eyes are all prepped and today I wanted to actually really try this palette from M Cosmetics. I've had it for such a long time now and every day I've just been like, I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna try it, but today's the day. I'm gonna give it a shot. This is their Divine Skies eyeshadow palette. These are the colors, very nice, very simple. That gives me very much spring vibes as well. I'm gonna take this brown shade as my transition color and I'm gonna see how that looks I might need another palette just to have a crease shade to intensify the eye look and I'm gonna pick it up with my Sephora Pro Crease 26 brush and I'm just gonna start from the outer corner and work my way in. Ooh, okay This shade's actually pretty. It's definitely showing up on my skin, which we love <laughs> Thank God, but it's giving me more transition color vibes So I'm definitely gonna need just to take a deeper shade from another palette real quick so instead of taking another palette, I think I'm actually gonna pick up my bronzer and use that in my crease because I do want this eye look to stay very soft still. So I'm gonna go in with some of that and see if that works. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Let me know if you guys see a difference, but in person, I definitely see a difference. And I'm using my Sigma Small Tapered Blending Brush. It's their E45 brush to blend that in. Now I'm just going in with my Sigma eyeshadow base primer in the shade Persuade. You guys know the drill just to clean up the lid before we pack on the shimmer. But I'm not going in with like a crazy cut crease today because I want the eye look to be very soft, nothing too harsh. And then I'm gonna start packing in some of this shade. I did swatch it a bit right now just to see which shade I wanna go for guys. So don't mind the little indent. And I think it will look very pretty on the lid. So I'm gonna pick that up with this Sephora shadow brush. I am getting a little fallout, but you guys know me, I do not mind because I'm gonna wipe it off right after this. I mean guys get into this shimmer. It is so pretty So I'm gonna go back in with that other shade that we used as our transition color from the M Cosmetics palette The brown shade and just start to clean up around the lid just so that it looks more nicely blended basically and I'm just gonna start to pack some of that brown shade as well and just blend it into the outer corner I'm not gonna go too far in because I want the shimmer to be the main focus for this eye look but just a little bit at the outer corner so it looks more neat and well blended and then I'm just going back in with my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer just around the corners a bit. Add a little bit of definition there. So I'm gonna leave the eyes as is for now. I feel like I have that simple soft look that I'm going for with a little bit of extra in the shimmer, which is so me. So now I'm gonna take this Marcilla Water by Caudalie. This is their Vino Clean Marcilla Cleansing Water. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that to clean up my fallout and I'm gonna take it on a reusable cotton pad as well. I've actually been using this the past few nights it's either this or the Vino Clean Makeup Removing Cleansing Oil to remove my makeup every night and they both do such a great job. But the Marcilla Water to clean up my follow has just been everything for me because I used to use a Marcilla Water before to clean up my follow but I started to notice that it was definitely not safe to apply around the eye area. So I'm so glad that I can do that with this one because that's where I mostly need it for is just to clean out follow. But yeah, as you can see, that is all of our follow gone and we can go into our base. So for our primer, I'm gonna go in with this Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. In my last video, I told you that I wanted to start using this primer more because I forgot how good it was for giving that glowy effect, but also how good it was to just hold your makeup in place. So I'm gonna go ahead with some of that because it's literally like the best of both worlds when it comes to gripping your makeup on, but also giving you a dewy finish, which is a dry skin girl's dream. And for foundation, I'm gonna be taking this one by MAC. It is the definition of giving you that perfect flawless dewy glow okay guys it's so good on the skin now this one used to be a little bit of my summer shade i'm gonna see if i can pull it off if anything and blending it out with a sponge is just gonna give me more of that natural skin like finish that i'm going for today 
so it is a little bit on the warmer side for me right now which is literally what I expected so I'm gonna go ahead with a little bit of my cover effects custom cover drops in the shade medium 4 just to lighten it up a bit are you guys seeing this glow though I mean Yes, okay. <laughs> I love a good glowy complexion. So now I'm gonna go in with some concealer. Taking my fave, of course, by Too Faced. This is their Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer or their Super Coverage Concealer in the shade Warm Sand. I'm going in with a lighter shade today. I normally go in with Butterscotch, but I wanna take this shade because I want a more brightened under eye today just to look more refreshed, more wide awake. So I just went ahead and set my concealer with my Milk Makeup Setting Powder like you guys always see me do. And I'm still so obsessed, guys, with how glowy this look looks. But now I'm going to go in with bronzer and I'm going to take my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer, of course, in the shade 10. My favorite, my Holy Grail bronzer. I'm starting to finally hit pan on this bronzer, guys, and I'm like so heartbroken. I'm like, no, I don't want it to run out. But then that also shows like how much I love this bronzer because I'm actually getting proper daily use out of it. So I'm just going ahead and blending that in with my Sephora Pro Contour 79 brush. So now I'm gonna go in with some blush, add some color back into the cheeks, and I'm gonna be taking this one by Milk Makeup. I've actually been really loving it. One of you guys mentioned in the comments before because I thought it was so sheer and I had to like keep packing it on to get some pigment on my complexion and I just thought it wasn't showing up on my skin tone. But one of you guys who has more fairer skin mentioned to me in the comments that it's like that in general, that that's just the formula. So thank you for that tip. So I'm gonna go ahead with some of this and this is just their lip and cheek stick and it's in the shade Rally. And you can just go ahead and just apply some on the cheeks directly like this or if you're a little nervous that you're gonna be too heavy-handed you can just go ahead and apply some on the brush and then just slowly start to pack it in basically but since I'm so used to using this I already kind of have an idea of like the amount that I normally go in with now so I'm just gonna continue to blend that in like how pretty of a flush of color is that guys and I really feel like it helps bring that skin like vibe back into my makeup look because cream products I feel like allow you to bring that beautiful texture like the texture that you want to see in makeup to make it look skin like and not cakey like there's good types of texture you know what i mean that's why i've been really loving cream blushes honestly a lot more now than powder and then for highlight i'm going to be taking this one by bobby brown and this is their bronze glow highlighting powder it's just a really beautiful golden highlight i just love how it sits on my skin so i'm going to pick up some of that with my nabla highlighting brush like look at that glow guys it's so pretty and this highlight does not look super cakey and chunky on the skin like some highlights just don't sit well on the skin but this one just looks so pretty guys as you can see and then I'm just gonna take some on my nose on my forehead just where the sunlight would naturally hit this looks so pretty especially when you go outside and it's all nice and sunny and then your highlight is just looking metro booming on your forehead and your cheeks and everything guys I'm like yes that's my beat. <laughs> and now for mascara, I'm gonna be taking this one by Maybelline, which took me 25 million years to find because it was sold out everywhere because TikTok was hyping it up so much. This is my first time using it. It's their Sky High Mascara. Right now I'm just going in with a light quote of mascara because I wanna plop on some falsies to complete the vibe. So I don't feel like it would be the best time to give you guys my thoughts on this because you gotta apply a mascara really, really good to give a good review or not, you know? But when I'm going in with falsies i could care less honestly i just want my lashes to blend in basically all right guys and i'm back lashes are on i went in with velour lashes as per usual this is in the style can't be tamed and it's honestly been my go-to i'm obsessed with these lashes they're just so pretty and wispy they give me drama but not like too much drama if you know what i mean so i really love these lashes for like day to day when i feel like doing a full face beat so i'm gonna finish off this vibe with a lip color Combo, and I'm gonna be taking one of my favorite lipstick formulas. It's by Nabla Cosmetics This is their liquid lipstick, but it's like a cream liquid lipstick and it's just so nice on the lips And my lips are really dry right now So I could definitely use a moisturizing lipstick for today And I'm gonna line my lips also with the nude 6 lip shaper from Nabla the close-up lip shaper So I'm gonna start off with some of this pencil first And then I'm taking this Nabla lipstick in the shade Hedonist in the center. It's like a really beautiful nude. 
I love this shade. It's definitely like one of my favorite shades from them. And then I just like to take my finger to really blend that in. All right, guys, and this is the final look. I'm obsessed with this lip combo. I feel like in the beginning, it did look a little more intimidating. But as you can see, when you blend it out, it gives a very beautiful, natural lip. And perfect for every day in my eyes if you want to just do a little bit of an extra. But my main focus is like the complexion. I'm just so obsessed. Very luminous, skin-like vibes. And I feel like this should be, you know, what we go for for summer and spring, you know? We don't want cakiness or any of that. Like, just let skin look like skin. You know what I mean? And I want to say thank you again to Coda Lee for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you guys go ahead and enter my giveaway. You're not going to want to miss out. Best of luck to everyone who enters. Make sure you subscribe and join the family. I would love to have you here. Turn on your bell notifications so you don't miss out on any of my uploads. And like always, I'll see you guys in my next video.